Hi, this is Mike Levine for Audio Fanzine, and in this video we're going to look at the VIP software from Akai, which comes with the Akai Advanced Series keyboards, and it's really pretty amazing software, pretty revolutionary. It works in tandem with the keyboard. You have to have them both on. You have to have your keyboard plugged into a, a computer with VIP running in order to get all the, the functionality. So it does a lot of things, but it, it collects all of your instruments, all your virtual instruments in one browser. It can open as a plugin or it can open as a standalone. Right now I have it as a plugin in Digital Performer 9. And so the first thing you would do the first time you opened it is to go to the plugin manager and you would locate your plugin directory for VST instruments and you hit scan and VIP will scan all your VSTs and they'll show up right in this list here. And then you hit OK and this is the main screen. Now, here are patches, um, and here is a list of the synths, and the number next to them is the number of patches they have. So, for example, Loom has 417 patches. So I click on Loom, and now all its patches show up in this column. And that's very cool. However, if I want to pull in patches of a similar type from all my instruments, let's say I was looking for a... Um, synth lead so let's say i put in lead into this search bar right here and now i get patches from all different instruments showing up you can see there's many columns of them they only have a certain amount per column but then you can just click here and you see more of them so let's say for example here's one from contact click on that there it is it's from retro machines you can see the GUI shows up right here. You can even pop it out if you want. It is the real GUI. Let's close out of that. I'm going to clear this search. And now there's another way that you can search, and that is by keywords. Let's say I wanted to go choir. I want to find all my choir patches. So I would click on that, and all of a sudden, here are choir patches from different synths. There's one from Reactor. Okay, so that's just part of it though. So now let's say I wanted to layer some of these choir patches or any patches. I would click on the multi window and you see the active patches in slot one. I can have up to eight different patches and I can just drag them in like so. And sometimes it takes a minute for them to, there we go. Uh, sometimes it's quicker than that. Let me get some from a different synth. Just dragging in a few here. Now they all have key ranges, and so I could set them up as splits if I wanted to, but leaving the key ranges at their lowest and highest points, so they're all being layered together, but I can mix them using these levels, uh, sliders here. There's pan controls, and there's solo and mute. So now I have all four of those choirs going. Let's, let's hear what that sounds like. Now, maybe that one, that one, let's say I want to lower that one, because it's a little fuzzy, I'm not as crazy about that, and I can make a stereo spread if I want. Pretty cool, right? And then if I wanted to, I could set them up as splits, and then you can save your multis and recall them. So if you were gigging, you could have multis for each song or for each set or however you wanted to do it. It's really flexible. Another thing you can do when you're in the browser or any window is, um, let's say I found a patch that I liked and I wanted to remember it. Say it was this one. I can go to the set list and just, boom, drag it there. And then next time I, I open the set list, that it's gonna be there, it's gonna be available. I can create a new set list, name it whatever I want gig, let's say, and now I can drag whatever I want into that one, and then as you can see the different set lists can have up to 127 in each set list. So it's very handy, and then you can click on that and get the patch to open right up from there. Here, this one is from Blade, Rob Pappen's software, and I saved that previously, it's pretty cool. Okay, so one other thing you can do is use VIP for mapping controllers. The software and the keyboard are totally locked together. 
So knob one turns knob one on the software. If I turn on the software, it affects the hardware. Same with the switches. You can see this going on and off while I'm switching it on the software, or if I switch it on the keyboard, it goes on and off here. So that's pretty cool. All the patches are pre-mapped with important controllers. There's four banks. And you can really get a lot of control over the keyboard, but you can also set up custom control maps. Just hit the learn button, you get the GUI. First you click on whatever knob or switch you want to control. Let's say it's that one. And let's say I want to click on detune. I'll just turn it a little. And now we have detune right there. So that's just a quick look at Akai's VIP software, which goes along with the company's advanced series MIDI controllers. This is Mike Levine for Audio Fanzine. Thanks for watching.